to something. Number one, I have made a point that President Ekufuado promised not to practice nepotism. And we have every right to hold him accountable to that promise. Because that is what we are supposed to do as citizens and not spectators. Number two, we have every right to subject him to the very standard he subjected President Muhammad to. He is not a sacred cow and we will not allow him to reprobate and approbate. Number three, we are saying that this unprecedented practice of nepotism he is pursuing is actually leading to a situation where Ghana is losing millions. Corruption is on the ascendancy. His ability to crack the whip on these people who are milking the state coffers dry has been weakened as a result of the family tie that binds him and those public officials together. And we are saying that if the United States of America can outlaw nepotism, something Mr. Bentley calls amorphous and yet agrees with us that an amorphous thing can be outlawed. If law other countries, said, if in for other everybody. countries, so can law outlaw nepotism, yeah, we can do that. then the call by the National Democratic Congress that it is important for us to impose clear restrictions on the powers of the president to hire and fire so that that power is not abused. And so that at all times, pres the president and public officials will ensure an even distribution of opportunities and resources. That call is in order. They may disagree with it, but we know that majority of Ghanaians, including MPP faithfuls, agree with us. Okay. The nepotism is too much. <clears throat> it is breeding corruption and it is killing the country. Mm. And people must have the courage to speak up say the truth be principled be consistent if you didn't condemn something okay. yesterday don't condemn me today all right because thank you you're thank you. exhibiting double thank standards you. thank you that is thank all you. i have to say thank you thank you very much